Hi, welcome to the video Create Spring Boot Project in Eclipse uh, with me, Nam Ha Minh Ad Java.net In this video, I'd love to uh, show you how to create a new Spring Boot Project in a simple and easy way and then how to run a Spring Boot application right inside Eclipse IDE Okay, so let's get started You see, I have Eclipse IDE open here as you can see, I'm using Eclipse IDE for Enterprise Java and Web Developers version 2024-12. Okay, it is a quite updated version. And you see uh, by default, Eclipse IDE doesn't have built-in support for creating a new Spring Boot project. If I go to the menu, find new uh, project, uh, and in the new project dialog, you can see no options to create a new Java Spring project. If I type Spring here and you can see no uh, wizard that lets me to create a new Spring Boot project. So how to create a new Spring Boot project in Eclipse IDE? Let me show you how. So you need to go to the Spring Initializer project at this uh, URL, open the web browser and go to start.spring.io. This is the uh, official web page of Spring Initializer, an online tool that lets developers to quickly create a new Spring project. And we can see here it. Uh, provides uh, simple and easy user interface. As you can see here, you can choose project type, Gradle, Gradle, Kotlin, Maven, language, Java, Kotlin, or Groovy, and choose Spring Boot version. Here, the default language is Java, and here I choose the project type is Maven, because I'm familiar with Maven. If you are familiar with you know, Gradle, you can choose the default option in Gradle and the default uh, Spring Boot version is the latest one which is 3.4.5 as of April 2025 okay it, it, if you want to use older version you can choose this one and it's in not recommended to, cho to choose snapshot or release candidate RC version so I choose the latest stable one 3. 4.5 okay and then you need to uh, provide project metadata information about the project such as a group id artifact id name description package name java package name packaging type and java version by default it uses java version 17 okay so let me enter the information here group for example net dot code java artifact so bring up name name of the application my spring boot application and description demo for spring boot application for a simple rest api okay my page name net dot code java dot spring okay packaging time is the default one ja and java version 17 okay and then on the right side you can choose to add the dependencies to the project uh, for simple spring uh, application that provides rest api we can choose spring web here if you want to use um, other dependencies you can choose here such as Spring uh, Web Services, Jersey, and the Data JPI Security you can type a keyword here to search for example Data JPI if you want to use Spring Data JPI or if you want to use MySQL JDBC driver or if you want to use Spring Security so for the sake of simplicity for demo purpose of a simple Spring Web application, I 
just choose the bring web dependencies here yeah. and of course you can uh, modify the project to add uh, new dependencies uh, when needed later okay that's done and click the generate button at the bottom here and it will let me download a zip archive of the new project so I save uh, it into my workspace directory Eclipse workspace so bring up save okay done and then come back to Eclipse IDE and we need to import that project so click the import link here or go to menu file import and choose the option import from project projects from folder or archive and click next and in the import source here click archive and choose the zip file spring app.zip here click open then you can see it automatically detects two projects to be imported expanded and expanded slash spring app and deselect the root one just extract the spring app here okay and click finish okay and it is importing uh, Sabring boot project into the IDE here. Yeah. Okay, then then you can explore the generated code here. Package. This is the main class. Very simple. This is the application configuration file, and this is a generated test class. So a very simple for a new Sabring boot application, Sabring boot project. So we can quickly get started to develop your Spring application and this is a Maven dependency file from .xml where you can see the information about the project and you can see the version of Spring Boot is 3.4.5 and group ID, artifact ID, version, name, description and the dependency is here I choose Spring Web so you can see Spring Boot Starter Web appears here and it automatically added Spring Boot Starter Test okay so when you want to add new dependencies or modify the project information you can edit this Maven project file okay very simple right and let me some write some code to test this application out okay so right click here and click new class to create a new java class for example main controller okay and use the annotation rest controller for new rest web service controller okay and the first method yeah the first handler method use the request get mapping annotation yeah mapping annotation here with the con the path is hello and the handler method string hello this is the kind of hello world spring boot application with the hello spring boot okay very simple a very simple rest api is posed to the client and it simply sends the text the string hello spring boot to the client okay and then to test this uh, application now in the main class here you can run the main method of the main class right click here and click run as java application and then you can see it is starting spring boot application then you can see started on port number 8080 which is a uh, default port number and by default um, an embedded version of Apache Tomcat server is used context path is empty then you can test this application right inside the ID using an internal web browser if you don't see internal web browser you can go to menu window show view as a and choose internal web browser from the list here open and then type the URL here yeah. localhost port number 8080 context path 
is uh, is last and then the path of the API is hello. Okay, and hit enter. Okay, and the Spring Boot application got invoked for the new request, and in the web browser it brings hello Spring Boot, uh, which is the result of execution of this uh, REST controller hello Spring Boot. The path is slash hello. Okay, and to stop the application, click the stop button in the console here. Yeah. So you see, it's uh, quite simple to create a new Spring Boot project in Eclipse IDE and also you have seen how to run it right inside Eclipse IDE, right? Alright, so far you have seen how to create a new Spring Boot project in Eclipse IDE in a simple and easy way and how to run the Spring Boot application, right? Let me sum up the steps which you can use to create a new Spring Boot project in Eclipse IDE. Firstly, go to the website start.spring.io to use the Spring Initializer, which is an online tool provided by Spring community that lets developers to quickly create a new uh, empty Spring Boot project. And then fill in the project details and generate the project and download the zip archive and import the project in Eclipse IDE. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to support this channel. Like, comment and share. Thanks for watching.